from Wild West Wrestling. This bout features a Mexican ladies match. It's scheduled for one fall and has a 45 minute time limit. Introducing first from Mexicali, Mexico, weighing 132 pounds, Gatu Veda. Her opponent from this match, weighing 136 pounds from Matamoros, Mexico, La Siranita. Harold Harris, the referee. A couple of the outstanding Mexican girls. That's La Serenita in the red outfit. And across the way in the cat mask, Gatu Vera. Looks like she's ready to uh, scratch and uh, not be a purring type kitten. As the referee checks to see she has no uh, hidden object in her knee pads or her boots. And we're ready to go on this part. This edition of Wild West Wrestling. And next week on our Wild West Wrestling program, We've got a great six-man tag team main event. John Tatum, Jack Victory, and the Outlaw against the missing link, Wild Bill Irwin and Jeff Rake. Our first star-fying girls competition. And that mad dog, Buzz Sawyer. So it's a great show next week right here on Wild West Wrestling. As you're watching, the young Mexican girls got two from Mexicali, La Serenita from Matamoros. Billy Bob's Texas. We'll be on hand there Tuesday. And here's a gentleman stepping up here to join us for this bout. The president of Wild West Wrestling, Ken Mantel. Good to see you here. Thank you, Bill. It's a pleasure to be here with you. And it's uh, what a night here at uh, Billy Bob's. The uh, wrestling, the excitement, the, the closeness. It's just a, a great evening. It's a very personal relationship between the, uh, the bout, the wrestlers, and this great, I guess you call it a hall, this great area of fun and amusement that is Billy Bob. It sure is, Bill. A lot of action going on in the ring. These are two young ladies that uh, came here to uh, Billy Bob's to make a name for themselves, and they're going right after it. Gatu Vera, the cat girl, and she is ripped across by La Serenita. You know, one of the things that very quickly Wild West Wrestling has found is uh, an exciting building battle, and that's Lance and Iceman King Parsons which was an interesting uh, startup. Sometimes you, you put people into a bout and they uh, get mad at each other and have a fight, but here was something that didn't even relate to either one of them. It's uh, actually an Iceman 0 0, zero. Who will ever forget that? Huh? Well, who will, Bill? And you know Iceman uh, King Parsons is all the fans, especially uh, here in the Metroplex, and I guess around the world know that Iceman over the last few months has really had a change of, of heart, of outlook, and through all of that, you know, this all really started when he faced the star find uh, giant uh, Solomon Grundy. Right. And uh, Iceman lost that under disqualification. Uh, I know for a fact that uh, he took a lot, a lot of ribbing about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, along around the locker rooms and around the world. What a move. I want you to watch, Look Bill. These what, girls can really move. What a move. You talk about athletic ability now. They are on one another. But you're right. Uh, it was a great uh, bruise of the ego for uh, Iceman King Parsons to lose that bout, even though it was one of those where over-the-top rope deal, but that's still losing it, and a professional doesn't uh, make that mistake, especially against the rookie. That's right, Bill. Went into the record books as a loss, and uh, Iceman was offended by that, embarrassed, I'm sure, and uh, that's where it, where it really started. Uh, and then the little sidebar thing when the put the, the count up there and he wasn't supposed to be, <laughs> supposed to be judged. That really bruised it more. That really did bruise it and that was not an official judging as you made clear in that match. Iceman would not be scored. Sure. Uh, that was uh, again maybe it's something that's really done in jest and uh, but Iceman took it personally and you know where it's led to. Uh, it's gone from just hurt feelings now to Iceman having uh, the fabulous Lance held and slapping him and beating banging on him and uh, hurting him and uh, there's going to be some dues to be paid. While we're watching these two really outstanding girls from Mexico and they, as we said the great moves and they are tough just tough as uh, old shoe leather. They battle each other and uh, give no quarter. It's sort of an international flavor. Now Wild West wrestling as we said is sort of a, uh, a synonym for a particular part of the world but 
Wild West Wrestling is really something of this country because the West started when this country started right on the East Coast and just moved a little farther toward the extreme corner of the West. But we are uh, very international with these two Mexican girls, Gatu Vera and La Serenita. We're also seen in St. Croix Virgin Islands on WSBI and Carolina Puerto Rico at WSJU. So around the world, across the West and across the nation, here we come, Wild West Wrestling. Go West, go Wild West, Bill. You know that's true. And although the show is called Wild West Wrestling, it does not refer to just the West. There's a Wild West atmosphere, a Wild West spot in every city, every town. Every in the That's right. Somewhere there was a Western frontier That's in right. every city. That's right. Boston had the, <laughs> was it the right at the edge of the West? That's right. That's true, yeah. And I'd hate to have to walk all that way in those days. <laughs> <laughs> nice leg move. These, you know, these girls are very agile, Bill, and they know they're wrestling. You, you know, Wearing one another down, going for the pin. This is a this is a good match. A strong girl. Oh, what a drop. Pound for pound, you know they're probably as strong as most of the guys. One, two. Oh, just missed it. She got a shoulder up just in time. Got to Vera. Got to Gato is the uh, male name for that uh, for the cat. <laughs> one. Not two, not quite three. And Gatu Vera and La Serenita. Battling on really even terms here. Here comes La Serenita. High in the air, she dies. This might do it. One, two, no. Gatu Vera shoves her off. I don't know how she managed to do that. La Serenita taking this foul to her. Now Gatu Vera is going to try to come back. Shot across the chest. Quite a shiver. You know, pound for pound now, Bill. That's the equivalent of what we just saw with Laddie, his massive body uh, taking out the, uh, the new spoiler. Duplex. Duplex, same moves, and, and pound for pound, they feel it just like we do the men. Count of two again, and got to Vera shoved uh, La Serenita off there. Yeah, 132 pounds going like this in a full match. A lot of dynamite. Put in a bear hug and drop got to right on the back of her head. Now, what, now watch this now, Bill. She's going for a, this is a high pressure move that she's putting pressure on the back of her neck, her shoulders, her arms. And uh, she just got to just kicked it off enough to come out of it without a submission. A tremendous hold. These girls have shown us some holes you haven't seen on a regular basis. In the corner, got right in the neck, another shiver in there. And got to Vera is trying to pick up the momentum now. Comes the cat girl and Serenita steps into a foot. Watch Gatu Vera a springing up to the top rope. High wrist, top. high wrist move. Oh, she missed it. Here it comes La Serenita. Reverse chin, put on her back, and she makes the cat girl submit. She gave up. Great work by La Serenita, got to there, and you can tell the crowd is ecstatic over the work of these two outstanding young ladies from Mexico. La Serenita. La Serenita, the winner. And we've got a winner coming up. Our star fight is next on Wild West Wrestling. Thanks for being with us on this bout, Kent. Thank you, Bill.